What's up guys, welcome back. Summer is on the way and that means it's time for cookouts, baby showers, weddings, basically any reason we can come up with to come together and have a few drinks. But when you do that, you also have to have some food. So today I'm gonna to show you my new favorite appetizer recipe. This is chicken bacon ranch sliders. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's go over these ingredients. You can use rotisserie chicken for this, but I'm going all out and making some fresh grilled chicken breast. We have some buttermilk for our ranch that we're gonna make from scratch, along with some sour cream, mayonnaise, ranch seasoning. We're using some Hawaiian sweet rolls as you should for your sliders. The cheese, we got cheddar and provolone, good quality bacon, and you can't have a party without a diced onion. That's going in the sliders as well. All right, to keep it nice and easy for cleanup, we're gonna go ahead and cook our bacon in the oven. We've got it preheated to 400 degrees. Cook it till it's crispy. All right, my friends, we're gonna make our ranch dressing from scratch. For the most part, we are using, obviously, a little ranch seasoning, so not fully from scratch, but nice and easy. We're starting with a cup of mayonnaise for all you folks out there that say you don't like mayonnaise, but you eat ranch dressing. I'm giving you the side eye. One cup of mayo, about a quarter cup or so of sour cream. And if we're making a buttermilk ranch, we need a little buttermilk to go in here as well. So about a quarter cup of that as well. More or less depending on the consistency you're going for. We're gonna add some fresh chives to the party along with some fresh parsley. We're gonna hit it with a little AP seasoning to cover our bases. And then plenty of this ranch seasoning. Taste as you go, adjust the flavor to your preference. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Break out the whisk and give it a mix. I'm looking for a little bit of a thinner consistency today, so we're gonna add a little bit more buttermilk. A little bit more ranch. We'll put some of this in our you know, chicken mixture and then we'll save the rest for a dipping sauce. Can't have chicken bacon ranch without the ranch. And damn, that's some good ranch right there. Give this recipe a try next time, guys. Way better to make it at home yourself. Jar it up in a mason jar, put it in the fridge. All right, my friends, we're gonna butterfly this chicken, which basically means cut it in half just to make sure that it cooks evenly. We want thinner pieces of chicken for this recipe so it cooks quickly. So we're just gonna butterfly these thick chicken breasts and make them thin chicken breasts. Super easy, just like you see here. Try to make sure it's kind of flat. And then we'll cut it right in half for two smaller pieces. Repeat that process for all four of your chicken breasts. We're using about two pounds of chicken for this recipe. So we're keeping the seasoning real simple on the chicken. Just my AP seasoning or a little salt and pepper or use whatever your favorite AP seasoning is at home. Whatever chicken seasoning you like. Tony's Creole seasoning will work nicely here. Good application of all purpose. And then we're gonna hit it with my lemon bay, which works beautifully with poultry and seafood. Again, guys, use whatever your favorite is or grab mine via the link in the description box. Totally up to you, but just get some flavor on there, whatever you like at your house. All right guys, we got our skillet heated over medium heat. We're gonna go ahead and cook our chicken breast. First things first, you wanna add a little avocado oil. It has a high smoke point, perfect for searing or cooking meat at high temperatures. And then you just wanna lay your chicken breast on in there. We're gonna cook it on both sides. We can finish it in the oven if we need to. Just wanna develop some nice color. Make sure it's nice and juicy. We're gonna chop it up real small. It's going on our sliders. All right, so after our chicken's got some color, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Show the other side the same love and attention. 
And then we'll get it in the oven to finish it up. Cooking our last couple chicken breasts, we're gonna add it to this baking sheet, pop that in the oven at 400 until the chicken hits 165 degrees internal temperature. Now in that same skillet, we're gonna saute some diced onion. Get up all that flavor from the chicken. Let's let them soften up, caramelize a bit. We'll add that to our slider. All right guys, so as you can see, we have the bottom of our Hawaiian rolls on a baking sheet with a wire rack. We sprayed the wire rack to make sure this doesn't stick. We're gonna get the bottom half in the oven first at 400 degrees. Allow the cheese to begin to melt. Plenty of cheese, because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. And then we'll top it with our chicken bacon ranch mixture. And then finally the top bun and back into the oven until she's all done. All right, we got our diced chicken going into the bowl here. Again, guys, you can use rotisserie chicken to make it easier, but it's not gonna be as juicy and flavorful and fresh as making it yourself. To the chicken, we're gonna add the bacon. We're gonna add a little parsley for a pop of color. And then we're going in with some shredded cheddar cheese. You wanna allow the chicken to cool a bit before you slice it. About a cup and a half of grated or shredded cheddar. So again, guys, we're gonna add some of this to the mixture here, and the rest is gonna become a dipping sauce. So maybe a half cup going in, take your spoon and just kind of fold everything together. If you're feeling real brave, you can get in there with your hands. But we just wanna fold all that together. For my keto folks out there, you can stop right here, put this on a low carb wrap, or eat it straight up just like this with a little veggies on the side for health. But you want it to be nicely combined. So nice and even, just use your spoon or tongs or whatever you got to get in there and fold everything together until everything is coated nicely in that ranch but not drowning in it. You want it to look just like this, guys. So as you can see, our cheese has gotten a head start along with our bottom bun. It's gonna crisp up a little bit extra. That way it holds up, doesn't get soggy on you. And then we're just gonna layer in this chicken bacon ranch mixture right on top of that provolone. Feel free to use whatever cheese you like, guys. I chose provolone today because it's delicious and it melts nicely. Then we're gonna add our sauteed onions right on top. Then we're coming with that top bun right on top into the oven at 400 degrees for a couple minutes. And then we'll make our glaze, plate this up for a taste test. Now for the glaze guys, we're doing like a brown sugar, butter and Dijon mustard glaze. It's gonna be relatively sweet. It's gonna pair nicely with the savoriness from the chicken bacon ranch. So we're gonna melt five tablespoons of butter. To that, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of brown sugar. We're gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That's gonna add a little bite, offset some of the sweetness. And then a few dashes of worst word in the world sauce. A little all purpose seasoning. We're just gonna let that melt together, form a glaze. We're gonna pour that right over the top bun. And it's gonna be delicious. If you wanna keep it simple, guys, you can just use like a nice garlic butter to pour over top. I like this method. I tried it with a ham and cheese slider not too long ago and it came out great. So I wanted to show it to you guys for this chicken bacon ranch slider as well. So as you can see, we're just about done. Now is the time to go ahead and glaze it up. Don't get too crazy with it. Just enough to coat the top buns. It's gonna caramelize a little more in the oven. It's gonna add great flavor, nice hint of sweetness. That Dijon mustard is gonna be great as well. Back into the oven for about two more minutes. 
All right, my friends, we went ahead and plated this up. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, time for the moment of truth. A little homemade ranch. This is not on my diet. What's up guys, welcome back. Summer is on the way and that means it's time for cookouts, baby showers. This is buff 